Okay, now it's rolling. <clears throat> I'm Bob Turr. I'm a helicopter pilot and reporter and have been for the past 20 years here in the City of Angels. We have a small business called the LA News Service. We go to breaking news events. Drug busts, drive-by shootings, gang violence. Breaking news is really in its infancy. The history of Los Angeles is the history of my relationship with Bob. I loved the thrill of the chase. Get the f out of here. I'll kick your ass. I couldn't get enough. It was never a movie date or a dinner date with Bob. It was a car crash or an air crash or a fire. Watching a fire is magical. If you told him, no, you can't go into some area, he would definitely put up a fight. Well, before transitioning, I was infused with this wonder hormone called testosterone. Quit touching me. I didn't know what hit me, but it was interesting. It was different. From there, it just became this crazy romance in the middle of crazy things that happened in Los Angeles. On October 26th, my daughter Katie came into the world and was immediately thrust into the news business. If it's in your blood, it's in your blood. Katie, you blocked the camera. It was not unusual for me to drive 110, 120 miles an hour to get to a news scene. And that's when I started thinking about helicopters. The helicopter changed everything. That was when I became the photographer. We owned the skies. See how well we work together? Can you open the door and shove her out? They're all in for the ride. It's a freight train. It's moving. You can't jump off. You could get hurt. The deck doesn't work. Check your equipment before you go into pursuit. And you weren't even white balanced. The Los Angeles Police Department is actively searching for Mr. Simpson. This was the story of the century. We're the first on the scene. O.J. Simpson is believed to be in the white Bronco. We had 80 million viewers. In the news business, you forget that what you think of as great is obviously a tragedy. All the trauma that I'd seen for all those years hit me. Oh, my God. Nobody's helping him. I suffered my first heart attack, 35 years old. I was coming apart at the seams. You didn't get to see the whole story, and we're going to show it to you this time.